Well, hello that jumps as I, Captain Stephen Exo. Oh, let's just uh, move this camera up just a tiny weeny bit. Oh, it's on the, now on the tilt. Oh, well. Okay, right. So, Symphysis has landed, and I want to go and check out all the new features to do with ships. The first ship that I really want to do up is this little guy. So let's go and take the ash hole out for a spin. Okay, here we go. That's his name. Right, so let's go, let's go. Let's go fly on over to the station because the actual upgrade module is in the station. It's not inside of the Nexus. You can get modules in the Nexus. I should have really shown you some of the modules. We'll go back in there a bit later if we get it, if I remember. Right, so let's go fly in here and uh, let's go firstly do this ship up. Now I have got my freighter. Oh great, I have always that one up, didn't I? I have got my freighter parked right outside so I can go grab a different ship whenever I like. So yeah, we'll go check that out in a sec. Hello there chums. So yeah, I am just checking out all the new ship um, sort of interactions that you've got in Synthesis right now, chums. And the first ship is my exotic ship. Now I want to add more sluts. Slots. Sl not, not sluts. We don't want to put sluts in the ship. Actually, well, we could. <laughs> Dutch 66. <laughs> Welcome aboard, chum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got no excuse for that one. All right. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Yeah, anyway, Dutch 66, you get a double thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so let's head on up here. Dutch, 50k nanites to change uh, ship class. Oh, okay, brilliant. Well, let's head on over. Uh, yeah, I have, I've only just fired this up, so let's go on over. Let's take a quick look-see. So here we go. Let's go and have a look at this ship. So 50,000 50, nanites. Wow, okay. Well, this is already um, an S-class. So let's uh, go into uh, where to... Oh, okay. I'll fit in. It tells you where to get all the other bits and bobs from. I didn't want to select that one. Right, no, I want to upgrade my starship, please. Yes, please. Augment storage or improve ship class. Improve storage. I don't think I can improve the ship class any further. What? I can? Why is that even highlighted? All right, let's, um, let's have a quick look. Max class reached. Okay, I would have thought it would have been greyed out, but here we go. Right, so let's go into here. Purchase storage modules. Awesome. How much is a storage module? It's uh, quite a fair few units, but we've got quite a fair few new units, so let's just keep going and see how far we can um, upgrade this one. At last, chums, we've got something we can spend our units on. What? Is that it? No, I want to continue. I want to continue. I want to make this a freaking god ship. Okay, uh, upgrade starship. Yeah, I want to put more freaking infantry slots in this thing. I'm being charged 16 million per storage module. Okay, well, purchase more storage. Yes, please. Ah, uh -huh. more technology. Oh, why is it gone into? Oh, you can you go back into general? You can. Awesome. So let's continue. Yes, please. I want loads. Give me loads. I mean, I've got loads. I've got billions of freaking units. So let's let's just go and spend the damn thing. 22, okay, yeah, okay. Well, I, I'm going to make this one. This is going to be my main ship, so I want this to be as awesome as it possibly can be. This is awesome. Okay, I'm only going to need the one ship now, chums. This is going to be my forever ship. This is freaking ace. I like this. Nice. How many technology slots can you have? This is men. This is crazy money now. Oh my god. This is insane. This is going to be a mahoosive beast of a ship. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty damn sweet. How many units have I got left? Oh my days! I've actually spent a load of units and actually feels like I've spent units. This is awesome. I predict more ship tech on the way. I think you might be right there. I mean, I want to put my missiles back in because apparently they've fixed the missiles now. Um, I don't think I've got them in my technology slot. No, I don't. Awesome. So I can put missiles back in. That'd be pretty darn sweet. Now, a lot of this I could actually move into the technology slot, I guess, couldn't I? But then I've already got duplicates of a lot of this already in my technology. So, yeah, that would break it if I did. I'd imagine so, unless I've upgraded that. But I could put my shields in there, I think. Can I move shields? I can indeed. Sweet. So I could put my shields in there. Yeah, why not? This is awesome. I can make this ship freaking ace now. That's going to be great. I'm loving that. 
Okay, so we've checked out the um, ship upgrade uh, with slottage. That's slottage tested. Let's go get one of my other ships. Let's go get one of my other ships and let's go see what we can do with that. In fact, I might get one of the ships that I don't actually like all that much and I might try melting it down for scrap. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Let's go see which ship to melt. Yeah, this is going to be cool. Let's go melt a ship. <laughs> I've never done this before. Well, obviously I haven't because we haven't had the synthesis update before. This is cool. It's giving me something new to do. Okay, so let's fly on in. So, although I've got this ship as, like, my forever ship, I mean, it does kind of kill the need for other ships. They need to introduce ship-related missions now, I think, Chum. So we need, like, one of each type of ship class. Otherwise, I mean, this does everything a hauler does, everything an explorer does, and everything a fighter does. If, if I put the right modules in now, I can make this to be a super awesome ship all round. Okay, so let's um, head on over here. Right, so I've got this little puppy. That's an A3712. And then I have got another one, another explorer over here. And that one is a 3611. But which one do I like the most? Let's have a quick look at them both. So this one here looks a bit like that. I quite like the finials on the wings. They're quite nice. This one over here doesn't have the finials. It just has these little sort of like armatures on it. Um, it kind of looks like Short Circuit's head. That's why I quite liked it. But then this one also looks like Short Circuit's head anyway. But it has the finials. I think I like this one more. So I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to melt down the other one. We're going to go melt down this little chap. He's getting melted. Alright, so let's go get that one. Let's go melt him. I can't wait to talk the, take the Nautilus out in first person. I've done it in VR and it's a really nice interior. Yeah, you're going to enjoy that. Dutch 66, do we know if the class upgrades go straight to S or just up one level from where the ship is already? I think it's going to be char... Uh, I think you could take like a C, uh, a C to a B and then to an A, I think. But I haven't got anything lower than an A. Oh, I just went and nearly crashed then. It's the second time I've done that. Okay, so let's uh, go in here and let's um, go and scrap this one. I mean, I could, I could just as an experiment after I've melted this one down. Because I want to know what happens after you've melted your ship down. How are you supposed to get out the freaking station? You know? It Does it just automatically put, put one of your other ships on the pad? And if you've only got one ship, does it let you scrap it? There's a load of questions that come out of this, but I don't know the answers to them. So yeah, let's go over here. I love how it shows like a little 3D x-ray of your ship. And the way that it explodes it out in parts is awesome. Now, I would like all of these parts as STL files for my 3D printer. If Hello Games would be kind enough to release all the STL files, that would be freaking sweet. Okay, so let's um, scrap this one. I'm going to get 21,000 units. Warning, the ship, he attaches desperation, and all cargo will be destroyed. Cargo. I didn't think of cargo. Hold on, let's just see what's in it first, just in case there's anything worth having. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's just take a load of this stuff out. <laughs> so you might want to do that. <laughs> you might want to do that first. Is, uh, yeah, take out some of the stuff. Let's get those. Uh, they're good. What else do I want? I want the silicon eggs. Let's take them. Um, I think I can have that in there. Oh, look at this as well. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we'll take out as much as we can. Let's just do this quickly. I didn't think this one through. Well, I'm doing this live, so, you know, I'm allowed I'm allowed a few fluff-ups, aren't I, really? What we got here? Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of unanswered questions. I really have a cool C-Class Explorer, um, but that would cost... Yeah, it's probably going to cost you a freaking lot. But what I can do is I can buy a C-Class ship in a minute. And, um, yeah, I could try and see how many nanites it would cost to just rank it up because I'm going to have one free ship slot I would imagine so I'll just buy the next ship that flies in and I'd see what happens shall I? An experiment for you Dutch. One sec Right okay I think I'm pretty much ready to scrap this. Yeah that'd do I could break down even more things if I wanted to but I'm not overly fussed Right here we go and yep yep let's scrap that yeah, I think you can. Oh, great. Why is it saying... Right, okay. I, I need to clear out some of my infantry. One second, one second. 
In fact, let's uh, let's scrap this stuff then. I don't think you can. I don't think you can take it with you into your exosuit. I'd be freaking surprised because it's already installed, isn't it? It's it, it's probably not going to work. Look, no, I can't take it with me. But what I can do is break it down. So I can break it down like so, and get all the elements if I really wanted to. I mean, yeah, I should have done that really. Let's just break all this down and let's put that over. Whoops. Okay, well let's go sell some stuff. Yeah, no, you can't, Dutch, you can't. It's, it's a good idea, it's a good shout. I mean, yeah, why not? But yeah, let's fly on over here. I'm just going to sell some of my infantry. Now, it is just your main infantry, I think, that you need to have clear for this. So let's go over here. I'm eager to see what happens. I mean, how am I going to get out of the station if I scrap my ship? Okay, so let's um, get rid of some of this. Let's get rid of that. I want to keep the salvage data, because there's a few extra things that have now appeared... Um, there's quite a lot that I want to keep, to be honest. I get rid of the freaking silicon eggs. I could have given them to that chap to get some more nanites, but it doesn't really matter. I can make those quite easy, so I can get rid of those. Gold, and they're quite, it's quite good to have some gold. Glass. I've got 38 glass. What the fudge? Why have I got so much gl Yeah, I build bases, don't I? I get rid of it. I've got a glass farm. I can get it any time I need. Oxygen. I uh, kind of need that to breathe. Uh, Pogium. This usually comes in handy for stuff. Navigation data, don't need that. Factory override, don't need that. Wiring loom, I don't need 42 of the damn things, and I can always buy some more if I get stuck. Microprocessor, that can go. Gek relic, gone. And that'll do. I think I've probably got, got enough on my exosuit infantry now. I probably haven't, actually. Let's move some of this into the... Because they give you quite a lot for breaking your ship down. It's a bit crazy what they give you. Let's let's go and have a look. From what I saw, you know that screenshot? Yeah, that's that's what I'm going by. Hi, Steve. I assume you have the uh, teleporter after you scrap. Yeah, there is a teleporter at the other side of the station. Thank you very much, get some. That's not a bad idea. That's a good way to get back out. But yeah, let's go on over here. You need a, work, a working loom to repair some of your multi-tool tech. Do I? Okay. Um, I'll, have, I'll check that in a second. Okay, so here we go. Clear. Yep, yeah, let's scrap it. Warning. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm fine with that. Do that. Brilliant. Salvage Jones. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Got a load of hyperdrive modules. load of other stuff. Other bits. As well as a shed load of freaking cash. So that's cool. And let's see if the ship's... The ship's still freaking there. They didn't do a very good job of scrapping that, did they? Um, why is my... Oh, no! That's my other one. That's the other one with the finials. They just look very similar. So it does put your other ship on the actual landing pad. Cool, that's good to know. And it gave me a load of other stuff here that I didn't really need. But, yeah, I've got loads of other stuff now. And some of this, you... Are oh, there the... Oh, you sell all this to get the units, I take it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's really quite a cool lit... I like that. That works quite good. Procedure, let's have a look. What does I need to actually repair in my multi-tool then? Have I got something broken? I don't believe I have at the moment. I do want to go get more multi-tools, but I'm saving that for another video. Um, I found two that I really want to get on Hazuki Dojo's channel. So yeah, if you haven't come across Hazuki Dojo before, you can find him on my channel wall of all the icons. But yeah, I'm going to go sell this stuff. So um, yeah, let's, let's get rid of this. Handful of cogs, fusion accelerant. I mean, some of this stuff you could probably use to make something e worth even more anyway. You could probably fuse it together if you had a few blueprints. We'll get rid of this, get rid of that. Yeah, so you could just keep finding crashed ships and bringing them up here and, com and, and just breaking them down and salvaging them, couldn't you? You could just make a living out of doing that. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, for whatever reason, Dutch, um, no ships have been flying in here. Okay, when I logged in, uh, several pieces of my multi-tool needed repairs. Oh, that's that sucks, Dutch. Mine's fine. <laughs> Mine's fine. Get some 2030. Magician Steve makes ships disappear and a new one appear. Yeah, that's, that's just what happened. That was pretty cool. I assume it was because of the update. Yeah, it probably was. Right, well, this one, 
is only an A class 3611. Now I want to make this one as good as it can be because I do like explorer ships. So we're going to upgrade this one too, chumps. Let's go over here. Firstly, I want to make this an S class. So I want to do upgrade starship. Fantastic. And I want to do upgrade class 50,000 nanites. Fantastic. Awesome. It's now an S class. It freaking is. I didn't look to see if the stats had changed. Idiot! Okay, right. So it has an ass upgraded, which is pretty cool. I'd be able to look at the stats on my video back if I watch it back myself. My multi tool was fine also. Yeah, they must have just they must have just picked on you, Dutch. That's just a right shame. Okay, right, so I'm gonna try and upgrade this one as well. So let's go into here. Let's make this as best as it can be as well. Upgrade ship. Uh, if I use up all my units, I'm not really bothered. Um, so yeah, we're just going to purchase uh, storage for this little guy. And yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Purchase storage. And we're going to make this one as best as it can be, unless I run out of units, which could happen. Okay, is that all I can do on this one? Is there a, a, an upper cap to every ship? Let's just go back in, because it did throw me out when I was doing my exotic and I had to go back in. It hadn't finished. Let's continue. It's probably because I was spending so many units. It's probably some sort of like banking cap, you know what I mean? Let's just keep going. I'm going to run out of units. I've run out of units. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant! Excellent! Yes! I've actually found a way to spend all my units. This is... Brilliant! I know people are probably thinking, why do you want to spend all your units? They've been there for so long with me not being able to spend them. I am so happy that this is a thing. That means I need to run missions and I need to do farming and I need to do loads of stuff to make my ships awesome. Which is cool, because I'm going to love doing this. I'm going to love doing up ships. Yeah, I'm going to love it. Okay, it's time zero. Hmm, at least now we have a place where we can spend our units. Exactly! You're, you're in the same boat as me. Yeah, you're thinking the same way as me, Cyber. This is cool. Uh, Juby DeVille, I had an S-Class Jetpack module uh, lose uh, 2,000... What? 200% fuel tank. Oh, that's... Okay. That's not good. Let me just check my modules in my exosuit. Because, yeah, I've got quite a lot of S-Class modules in here somewhere. Where, where are my S-Class modules? Technology. Let's go in there quickly. All right. So Jetpack 201. 203 They're, they've kept it all i think i'm okay for my jetpack not meaning to rub salt in your wounds but mine seems fine <laughs> okay sorry okay that's great yep yeah. yes awesome mary lizzie hello there mary lizzie tvma i think you've changed your name mary haven't you that's pretty cool though yo yo cyber hello there mary and uh, yeah hello mary lizzie and uh, yeah it's captain steve We'll be broke. I am now. Yeah, I have no money left. This is freaking awesome. I'd have to go back into trying to make stasis farms and all that sort of stuff. I mean, Sword's okay. He made a stasis farm freaking years ago. I should have followed suit, but I haven't. So, but yeah, I'm quite chill. I'm quite chuffed with that. The only thing is now, Dutch, I can't really test the whole. F I could. I can't buy a ship. I can't afford a ship. I can't afford a ship to test the um, the B class, to A class, and all that sort of stuff that you was on about earlier, or C to B. But I'm fairly sure it'd probably go up in stages. I doubt they're going to jump a C-class all the way up to an S-class for 50,000 nanites. I, I don't think that'll be a thing. I think they'll probably charge like maybe 10,000 nanites to go from a C to a B. But I'm just speculating. I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, that that's pretty cool. Well, that I managed to get through that a bit quicker than what I expected to get through it. Let's just swap back to my explorer ship for an hour, chums. We're going to have to work on my ship, though, now. I'm going to really enjoy doing up my ships and making them the best of the best. Okay, so here we go. Let's fly on in. I'm sure I'll find out in due course. Changed it for the upcoming copper changes, just to cover my ass. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, fair enough. Is it MA stand for mature audience, does it? Because that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Right, okay, so let's pick up this. Okay, yeah, so I, that... Oh, that frees up a bay in my freaking freighter. I just saw that ship fly in. 
Of course it does. That's awesome. You can scrap ships. I could just become a junker. Just go find crashed ships, cash them in. Freaking great. I love that. That is really cool. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to go get the multi-tools now, guys. I'm going to go get the two multi-tools now. So, yeah, let's let's go do that. So let's uh, fly down to my portal planet. And, yeah, we'll go grab a new multi-tool or two. And we'll have a look to see how you can swap the multi-tools out. Again, I'm probably going to need a shed load of nanites and things to upgrade the new multi-tools I get. But I do want a multi-tool for PvP and killing creatures and killing whatever gets in my way. And then I would like to get another multi-tool, mainly just for scanning and mining and it hardly has any combat in it whatsoever that's what I'm hoping to do anyhow okay so let's go to my portal base firstly because we need to open up a portal Mary Lizzie if I remember correctly most if not all the games I play are rated at least teen well that's cool that's great yeah and procedural travel we can finally scrap ships heck yes it's freaking great Dutch 66 I think all these changes are pointing towards um, an exciting things to come i i actually think you're right there i mean me and um, pt we've done a, a video before synthesis came out talking about how we feel that a lot of these updates are a combination to try and get something bigger out when we we're hoping that's the case and um yeah so we we, we talk quite a lot offline uh, myself and uh, mr pt and bounce ideas about and yeah, well, anyway, they've actually data mined Synthesis already, the PC players, jumped on Experimental, dug the files, and they have actually found that there is a mech suit inside the files now. A freaking mech that you can climb in. Freaking mech. At least I think you can climb in it. That's a bit of speculation, but I can't imagine anything else it would be. And it classes it as mech, and it's got like a little windowed area. It looks like a new sort of exosuit. But why a mech? You know? Can you, uh, it, maybe you can still do base building inside it I don't know but it, the weird thing is is the actual colours and the textures look like the same ones that were data mined and found on the turrets now Procedural Traveller and I were talking and uh, Procedural Traveller feels that maybe that's a hint towards you know the, the speculation that we made that we might be getting a new enemy type I've been speculating that for some time like the new enemy type but I thought it might be sentinels because of you know the ending of the previous update it was all red and angry and it made all the sentinel sounds the same thing happened at next when they done the little sh the short cheese not the next beyond when they done the little tra trailer for the nexus and we, we still haven't had a new enemy type turn up and the uh, sentinels haven't got much more aggressive so here I am at my portal base. I'm going to need little Exo, aren't I? I'm going to need Exo for the code. So I'm going to get him to read out the codes for me. Now let me just bring up the interface to interface with Exo from real world to game world. There's my little interface. Right, so let's uh, go back down to the portal and we'll go fire that up. I need to scrap this base and rebuild it because it's all over the freaking shop now, chums. The landing pads have grown, like, monstrously. Who knows why? Oh, what? I've got to reactivate it. You're freaking having a... Budging giraffe. That sucks. And now you've actually got to drag the pieces over. They've made that slower. Oh, that's... T okay, well, that's weird. I guess it's because we've just had it in new update. Yeah. A mech shoot suit could be for asteroid mining. Dutch, you could be right there. That'd be cool. Don't get my hype levels up with talk of mech suits. No, seriously, jump online and... Well, not right now, because you'd miss all this awesome stuff. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, if you look at my Twitter feed, I, I did I put an image up? I don't know whether I did, actually. I might have done. I can't remember. I put it somewhere. But yeah, um, Steve Evans, you know Diz Drizzle Ditch? He was the person that put it into a group chat. That's how I learned about it. So yeah, he shared the information, and I've sort of shared it to a few others. I sent it to uh, PT, and I think I put it on um, a Twitter group that I'm in, or something, for the Guildford Meetup. That's where I put it. Yeah, it's not on my feed, I don't think. Cool. Right, so here we go. That's all engaged. Lovely jubbly. Do you still get rocks and grass in your base? You probably do. Um, but with the train manipulator now, you can make the ground nice and flat. Do that before you build your base, and perhaps not. Okay, right, so here we go. Save sounds. Right then, Mr. Exo, I am going to need a code, sir. So let's activate the portal. 
I would like a code for the alien multi-tool, please. The one that's on Hazuki Dojo's channel, my little chummy friend. The alien one first. The code for the alien multi-tool is Eagle, Eagle, Waypoint, Tree, Triforce, Rocket, Tiki Face, Dragonfly, TP, Eclipse, Whale, Dragonfly. Well, there we go. I think I got that right. Thank you, XO. Awesome. And yeah, that's that. There we go. Activated. Yep. Giant phallus of blue evilness. Let's uh, jump into this. It looks like a washing machine. Don't do that at home, kids. No jumping in washing machines. It's not a teleporter. Right, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Well, there shouldn't be any kids watching this, should there? You know, it's 13 plus. <laughs> okay, cool. Chumps on right. Okay, thanks. Uh, downloading the update right now. Why I'm teleporting chumps, I'm going to take this freaking fleece off because I'm melting. Right, there we go. Let's take that off. Throw that over there. Chikapow! There we are. Awesome, that's better. Whew. Yay! Cool, cool, cool. Okay, thanks. Downloading the update now. Nice one, John Rice. Awesome, awesome. And through the teleporter we go. Yeah, it could be for mining asteroids. You could be quite right there. Imagine that. Maybe if you did, I mean, how would you? Put, I guess you'd have to put it on inside your freighter or something. And maybe it sits in your freighter, and you can just fly out and mine asteroids. But then you can, you can mine asteroids in your ship. But yeah, for spacewalking, that'd be quite cool, Dutch. I quite like that idea. It could be for all sorts, or it might not be used at all. I mean, there's so many other things that they've found in the actual files that they've mined, and have never become a thing. So, I don't want to get your hopes up overly, or overly speculate, but it's something new they've found, so it's something new they're playing with. So yeah, this is the um, Hazuki's S Blue Alien System, uh, found by Hazuki Dojo, and like I say, his uh, channel can be found from my channel page. I've got reams of icons, and under Hunters you'd find Hazuki Dojo. It looks like a Shenmue type icon with a green background, but yeah. He's got awesome multi-tools, and a lot of the time, they're actually in the station. In the space station! Or if they're not in the space station, on PlayStation, he's actually built bases on the planets that they're actually in. So if you fly to one of his systems and you see that he's got a base in his system, there's a good chance he's built it at an outpost where he's found an S-Class multi-tool, just to be super helpful. The guy's a freaking legend! Okay, right, so I'm going to fly to the station. I'm not seeing a base marker. Not that I've looked around all that much. But if there's no base marker, it's usually in the station. Now on PC and Xbox it may differ very slightly. Some of the S-Class multi-tools is found in stations on a Xbox or on PC. Sometimes they haven't got the 24 slots. Sometimes they've only got 22 or 23. And then you have to go find one on an actual planet's surface. A lot of the time he's even found one on the planet's surface though. And on his videos he would share coordinates, like the X and Y coordinates, so you can actually find the actual location. The guy, like I say... He's a frickin' legend! Okay, so let's go up here. And Blue Fizz, 54. Welcome aboard, Blue Fizz! Finally, an update to max my ship. Heck yes, it's bloody brilliant. Hold on. What the heck's happened to that multi-tool? Who the fudge has broken that? Okay, let's have a little quick look at it. It's an A-class, and it's completely fudged. Right, if that happens, I've just jumped out of my ship and created an autosave. I'm just going to go save again, and I'm going to reload my iteration chumps, okay? Because sometimes this can happen with multi-tool cabinets. Sometimes they fail to spawn correctly. So you have to sort of save. I'm just going to reload now, and hopefully that's going to sort the freaking multi-tool out. We can only but hope. Okay, I thought it was going to crash then. That wouldn't have been fun, would it? Okay, reload automatic save, which was just now awesome. Is it only 11 minutes past 6? Did I start my stream early? I think I did, because it says 29 minutes up there. Yeah. Whoops. I started 15 minutes early. Sorry, guys. Aren't updates fun, Steve? They really are. And I would like to say that apart from what I just saw then, this has been bug-free. Um, I, I haven't seen anybody complaining about too many bugs, apart from maybe Dutch's multi-tool that got broke a couple of slots. I mean, that, well, that was pretty broke. If this is pretty broke, then it could be that multi-tool cabinets are all broke. Or it could just be I've been very freaking unlucky. It could be, but yeah, we will see. 
Yeah. Oh, where's my freaking body? There we go. I now look like I'm made out of silly putty, but yeah, it's slowly rendering in. I was just a freaking floating head for a while there, chums. That was a bit dodgy. I am on the base PS. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Are you in S class now? No, it's only in A class, which means I may have to go and try and find the S class on a planetary body that's nearby. There will be an S class down on the actual planet's surface. Normally, Hazuki Dojo has bases camped out at pretty much every system where it's an A class in the cabinet rather than an S. So let's go and have a look, see if we can find the S on the actual planet's surface. Let's see if we can see a base marker from Hazuki. There's a portal. Normally base markers are fairly easy to see. I can see a portal marker there. I'm not seeing a base marker. Usually they pop up a bit like how a station marker appears and things like that. So it looks like, although it's still there, it's only rendering it in as an A. And it could take me a, quite a while to find a uh, minor outpost. You know what, I might just go try the other code and we'll see if that one's knackered as well. Because they should be S's, they should be S's. Right, so let's go back through the portal and let's try a different code. That's a bit of a shame. Because they're all confirmed as working. There was an S class on Hazuki's video. You can watch that one back, which is... He's going to be a bit gutted with that. All right, let's fly, let's fly on down. I mean, I could try and find a minor settlement, but it's, usually you would find maybe about, you know, 10% or maybe slightly higher of minor outposts will have the same alien multi-tool inside their cabinet. Hold on. I've just had a fort. 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 We're going to call the Nexus. If I can call the Nexus, the Nexus has got a multi-tool cabinet in there. Let's see if we can fix it that way first. It's not going to let me, is it, because of portal interference? Ah, some biscuits. Is that, is, that, is that a thing? It's not going to let me call it. No, portal interference. Damn it! I thought I'd found a cure then, chums. I obviously haven't. Darn. Darn and blast. Okay, well, let's go through the portal. And let's see what happens there. You can't because the portal. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I sort of figured that as I was flying back into space, Mary. I was like, this isn't going to work. But what I might be able to do is you know how it rendered a different multi-tool when I first got here and I had to reload? It might be that it's going to keep this iteration's multi-tool in the cabinet when I go back through the portal. Oh, my days. Okay, so they still haven't cured the rendering issues still works but come on the trading post was a problem for me in the last iteration now it seems that the freaking portals are affected you know when I said about this being bug free I think I spoke too soon too soon jobs. too soon yeah oh well um, done I was hoping with smaller updates we'd get smaller amounts of bugs to be fixed but yeah this is base PlayStation though base PlayStation so I could just be super unlucky. I guess it's early days to know whether we are getting just as many bugs as we are fixes. But then saying that, there was a freaking page of fixes. Pages and pages and pages of fixes. So I don't think that's the case. I think it, we've still got more pros than cons here, chums. More pros than cons. Just the ability to freaking, you know, scrap a ship for me. That, that gets a freaking thumbs up. Okay, so here we go. I'm back here. So let's let's fly up into the air. Before I put in the other code, let's call in the Nexus and let's see if I can spanner in that alien multi-tool. I'm hoping it hasn't inherited the uh, multi-tool that's in this current system. Let's just see if it still keeps the multi-tool in the cache from the previous system. There's a very, 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 very minute, teeny wee, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny chance that it has. I don't think it will, but we're going to give it a go anyway. While we're in here, though, we can check out all the other um, merchants inside the Nexus and see what sort of other modules that they've got on offer. Let's go in there. Let's go do that quickly. I mean, the main aim of this video anyway, chums, was to show all the new sort of ship mechanic type bits. I was planning to do a whole other video on getting the multi-tools, but it's kind of lucky that I've experimented in this one to see if I can get them. 
Because at the moment it appears that there is a slight little problem with that. Now if I did actually go to the system by jumping to the system rather than using the portal then I probably could have called the Nexus. And there's a good chance if you put the Nexus near to different planets sometimes it spawns in a different type of multi-tool with the same stats but with a different skin. So if you don't like the look of it you can change the cosmetics by using the uh, multi-tool. Uh, not the multi-tool, the Nexus. That was something that was discovered by uh, what's this, uh, Law of Evolution really good streamer. If you haven't checked out Law of Evolution, you should. He comes out with hints and tips usually before anybody else. He's quite sneaky. It's freaking awesome, this Law of Evolution. No, it hasn't given me um, a multi-tool. It hasn't kept it in cash. So, yeah. Um, we're a little bit scuffed on that one. Right! Oh, yeah. I was going to check out what modules they've got. What new modules do you have, my little saber-tooth friend? I wouldn't like to be his dentist, chums. I really wouldn't. You're going to lose a freaking digit or two, aren't you? Okay. Uh, J-Spot! No Man's Sky! I love your emojis, chum. Let's jump in here. Right, he he hasn't got any new ones. Nothing new for the um, Exocrafts there, chums. Right, so let's go and have a look at this chap. So this is for multi-tools. Hello there, Eos. Yep. In Greek mythology, she's actually female, is Eos. I can't see any new ones there either. If there were new ones, I'd have a little sort of digit on it, like a little digital display showing how many nanites it is. So nothing new there. And uh, now I know Celine's got quite a few new ones, whether I can afford them now since I've just upgraded all my ships. Let's have a look. So she has got this rebreather. I bought this earlier, chums. Check out the description on this. So a powerful upgrade for the Exosuit Jetpack, allowing limited jetpack recharging while airborne. So that gives you a little bit more flight, doesn't it? Highly effect efficient compressors fitted around the jetpack exhaust takes advantage of the wind flow generated by persistent falling, recycling some of the energy into the jetpack fuel. Freaking great. I like that. That's cool. I just need some phosphorus to be able to install it and actually test it. Right, so we've got this one, a rebreather, to help with um, breathing underwater for a little bit longer. And to be honest, I don't think the planet's are hazardous enough. I think we need some awesome freaking storms, and then I'll buy some. Right, so let's go over here. I mean, I've got the heat ones, that's about it. Oh, I haven't looked at this yet. See, uh, I haven't actually bought myself the uh, triangular base bits. Let's go and get those quickly. Let's see if they are about. Where are they? Oh, this is new as well. Oh, haven't I got any salvage data? That sucks. Ten. I need ten salvage data. I haven't got enough salvage... Darn, I'm going to have to go dig up a freaking planet, aren't I? How much are the uh, triangles while we're up here, anyway? Come on. Where are the triangles? Triangles, triangles. There they are. I need one for that. Great, I got that. I hope it goes straight back into the menu. And I only need one for that as well. I can get that as well. So, yeah, excellent. I just need, like, ten. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got to buy them on every single one, have I? Yeah. I don't know how much salvage tech I've actually got, though. Well, let's keep going anyway. Let's see if we can get all of them. I do like having base building parts. You know me. That's just thrown me out, hasn't it? How random is that? Concrete, concrete, concrete. That's because I've run out of salvage data. Okay, right, I do have to go dig in. I, I'll do that in my own time, though, chums. But that's cool. Okay, right, Hyperion. What do you have? Now, Hyperion is the father of Selene and Eos. Yeah. Okay, so re in Greek mythology. Don't know about this. Right, okay, cool. So what have we got over here? Oh, this is instability drive, pulse engine augmentation. Tritium supplies are redirected into the cycle of mixture, black hole resulting into microgravity functions that harness to boost the uh, ship's propulsion beyond the conventional. Fantastic. Well, I've just upgraded my ship. I'm going to need tritium hyperclusters to do this up. That's a first. Right, we're going to grab that. So 460 uh, nanites. Lovely jubbly. We will be trying to build that at some stage because now my ships are got extra slots why the hell not okay what's the next thing i want to see what the next freaking module is chums let's go and have a look at that 460 nanites wow i've really gone through my units and nanites okay so what we've got here pulse engine drive highly advanced pulse engine vast okay fantastic it's just an, uh, an increase 
maximum sub light speed that's got to be had awesome i'm hoping when you engage them you get new sort of you know contrails or something different colors that'd be cool wouldn't it sweet hitcher tied to the galaxy instability drive <laughs> I, i'm liking it i'm liking the names and i'm liking the wordage they've done a freaking top job hello games on that so yeah i can't wait to see what they do but sadly with the amount of stuff that i need to get for those i can't actually do it in this episode but yeah i would hunt down those materials i get them installed and then hopefully by the time i do my next live stream which will probably be on saturday now chums um you'll get to see it in action that's what i'm going to hope to to achieve anyway and deliver to you guys right okay awesome so we've got those i'm going to go back down to the planet and i'm going to try hazuki dojo's other code for another experimental multi-tool and see if we're lucky enough to get an s if this one comes back as being an a as well then it's probably fair to say that they've changed a few things when it comes to multi-tool locations and cabinets which is going to upset a few people I'm hoping it's just a one-off. I'm hoping it's just that one that's um, slightly spanned. I mean, Hazuki Dojo has got a lot of alien multi-tool locations on his channel, and there were some that I liked just as much as that one, if not more. I just went for that one because it was in a station cabinet. He's got others that are actually based in um, uh, you know, locations on planet surfaces. I just thought for quickness, I'd go for that one. Okay, that's uh, a move from the a movie from the 90s the instability drive yeah the hitchhiker's, hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy i really did enjoy the remake and the original stuffage but yeah the remake wasn't too bad of hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy it was all right it wasn't bad okay so here we go i've landed let's go in and interact with the portal hopefully i don't have to freaking reactivate it again nope it's already spun up this is great let's interact with this right it's okay cool get, got, get some I'm quite good at interpreting people so I, I understood what you meant sir but yeah thank you for clearing that one up okay so here we go let's go into here and uh, yeah activate portal right exo this time I would like the experimental Zuki dojo code if you wouldn't mind my little friend there we go for the orange and white experimental multi-tool the code is eagle jellyfish boat eagle jellyfish dragonfly waypoint triforce whale rocket jellyfish triforce thank you there my little robotic friend mzk <laughs> hello there mzk i think this is the first time you've jumped into my stream i feel honored Thank you very much for joining MZK, and I, I did watch your uh, video earlier of Synthesis and the breakdown and stuff like that. Very cool video. Here we go, we're going in. Elliot Stevens, I discovered a bug. Allows you to get from 12 million units in five minutes. I've confirmed it on all platforms. Elliot Stevens, please share, because I have now spent all my freaking units. Yeah, if you can, put it in steps or something in here. That would be freaking great, Elliot. And if it's simple, if you put the steps down, there are sort of simple steps. I try it live right now. MZK, I think it's uh, it is too. How's it going, my man? It's going very good, MZK. Thanking you, sir. And yeah, um, yep. Yeah, so yeah, MZK is another content creator. If you haven't checked out MZK, he's a straight talking, really awesome guy. Go check out his uh, channel. And yeah, guy's awesome. I met him in Guildford in person. He's awesome in real life and online. Yep. Cyber Zero, share it because uh, Captain Steve is broke now. <laughs> yeah, I am. All my nanas are gone. Okay, Elliot Stevens, clear infantry and get 15 NA. Oh, navigational data. Okay. Oh, stop, I'm blushing. <laughs> MZK, really? I don't think you, you're capable of such a thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, right, so here we go. Let's go in over here. Okay, so I'm now on this sort of planet. Awesome. This is another Hazuki Dojo's planet. I'm going to fly up to the station. Let's see if there's any base markers. Oh, is that, there's a comms, there's a comms station over there. Okay, well, if, we, if it's not in the station, we'll go to the comms station and we'll see what's at the comms ball instead. Because sometimes, rather than actually build a base, sometimes it just puts down a comms ball. 
Okay. Go to a station. Yep. Go to a cartographer. Sweet. Okay. So far, all this is doable. Um, I do have a planet somewhere where it's just covered in navigational data. I might be able to jump there and get 15 navigational data. I just scrapped a load of my freaking navigational data, Elliot Stevens. But yeah, I'm following you so far. Are you going to say, then go and find a load of relic sites and dig up the treasure? Remember that? Okay. It's okay. Just have some. It's okay. Just have some. Okay, cool. Greetings, my galactic heroes. It's an I Atlas Galacticus. How's everyone doing? Hello there, Atl Atlas Galacticus. I don't think I've actually checked out your channel if you have one, Atlas Galacticus, but you do have. What you do have, Mr. Atlas Galacticus, is a freaking awesome name that's quite hard to say. Right, okay, there we go. An exchange for maps, okay. Any maps in particular, Mr. Elliot Stevens? Because you can actually choose now, can't you? The different sort of map types. Where am I going? Oh yes, I'm going to go check to see what the multi-tool is. Sorry, I'm distracted by Elliot Stevens' magical awesome cheat. I'm going to head over here. Ah, look, it's it's not uh, an S-class, it's an A-class, but it could be the same thing as before, chums, where it's not spawning in the correct multi-tools into the cabinet. Let's go save. Exchange for maps. Just any maps? Okay, cool, awesome. Okay, this is sounding good so far, Mr. Elliot Stevens. So if I jump out now, let's just reload after it's saved. And we'll see if that puts a different multi-tool in the cabinet. So reload, auto save. And if it hasn't, then I'm going to head to that comms ball. And you'll probably find at the comms ball location, you're going to get a different multi-tool. And it's probably going to be the S rather than the A. We can only but hope. Let's keep the fingers crossed. Because, yeah, if I find that all S-Class multi-tools that Hazuki Dojo has spent freaking, I'm talking months, finding, and they've all changed to A-Class, it's not going to be a happy Hazuki. He'll probably be in the dojo, completely annihilating everybody. That's uh, There you go. Look, I have no body again. I'm just a disembodied head. Random as that. Okay, let's head on over here. Add to Galacticus. I like your SN. Yeah, his name, his username, is freaking awesome. Right, so let's go over here. And let's have a look. Oh, it's completely spanned now, isn't it? Hand of the Wind. It's got less slots and it's not rendering in properly. This is the second multi-tool that I've seen that it shows it looking like a freaking... I don't know. Like a 3D print job that's gone wrong. Okay, well, let's um, head on down to the comms ball and we'll see what's at the comms ball location. I'm probably going to have to let Mr. Hazuki Dojo know that um, some of his multi-tools... I'm slightly busted. Oh. Or I could send... I'd probably send this video to the Zen desk and say, hey, you know, you, you've kind of broken somebody's really lot of hard work that went into this. Right, okay, so where was that comms ball? I think it was on this planet, wasn't it? But um, I'm not seeing it from space anymore, chums. So let's uh, fly down to where the portal was and we'll continue on from where the portal was because I could see the actual comms ball when I was at the portal. Usually you can see comms ball markers and all sorts of other markers from pretty far up, so that's unusual. Okay, so after you exchange for maps, what happens next, Mr. Elliot Stevens? Do you sell set maps, or what do you do? Okay, so let's uh, fly around, and let's have a look for... You know what, I'm not even seeing the comms ball marker now, chums. This is freaking weird. There was a comms ball, and now there's not a comms ball. That's freaking frustrating, isn't it? The comms ball marker has vanished. Fantastic. Okay, all right. Well, um, yeah, let's get out on foot, and let's see if the comms ball marker appears after I get out on foot. Hmm. Strange, strange, strange. This is Twilight Zone type stuff going on now, chums. What was that? There's like a little blue marker and it's staying there. Barrier technology. Oh, I'm actually on it. Well, don't mind if I do. I need some of that. And then the marker's vanished. 
Are you freaking... You're freaking having a freaking laugh. Okay, so, yeah. There's still a few weird things going on, chums, that I've got no explanation for whatsoever. It's like, there was a comms ball just over on the horizon. I was going to go there, and now it's vanished. That's just really, really bizarre. I could jump through the portal and then come back through the portal and hope that the comms ball re-renders. Let's try that. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens then. I would like to try and confirm as much as I can for Suzuki before I go and tell him whatever news I need to tell him. Okay, so there we go. Uh, buy all 999 and then sell and then repeat with the other four players of maps. Okay. They probably don't want people to use comms ball to mark sites. Probably, but it was there a second ago and now it's vanished. It's just weird. At, according to my galactic tech, uh, notepad, playing No Man's Sky synthesis update, is that correct? Yes, I am, yes, I am indeed, I'm playing synthesis, yes, yes, totally, totally, yes, I've got it now. It's available on all platforms, I believe. My tooth just broke. Neo Spellberg! Oh, no! Ouch! I hope you're okay, Neo. Oof. Yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, Elliot, that's a good array of tips. However, I don't have the means to do it on my person right now. But I will be reading back your comments step by step and probably give them a go. And if I do, and it works, I will be sure to give you a little mini shout out, Elliot. Okay, well, um, yeah. I mean, but by then, I'd imagine there's probably going to be other people that have found other things too. So I might be able to put it in a, in a video with other things too. But to be honest, um, yeah, Neo Salberg, I'm not okay. I think I'm going to die from shock. Neo, don't die! Don't! Don't! Yeah. You know, you've got a lot more. There's there's a whole load of them. It's not... Is it one of the visible ones? Is it one of the visible teeth? Andrew Miller. Hey, Steve and others. Cool. J-Spot. Do it before it gets patched. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Try those steps out. Let us know if they work. I I'll probably try them as well as soon as I can get some navigational data going. I just went and sold a shitload of it. I think I have some inside my Colossus, but again, I'm going to have to make one of those satellite dishes to cool my Colossus down, and yeah, that's probably not going to happen in this episode either. I'm probably going to be ending off in about eight minutes or so, um, to try and keep this under the hour so people can watch it on their lunch breaks. Uh, best uh, Boss 99, hi! Well, hello. Oh, it's so broken. They will patch it so fast. Well, Elliot, thank you very much for sharing it here with the viewers here. That's much appreciated, chum. And I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to be trying it out. There you go. The comms, the comms marker's back. Right, it's four hours away. Let's add that into the freaking directory. There we go. It's locked in. Let's go to the comms marker and let's see what happens. Phew, it's back. Four-hour train journey. Uh, but, yeah, I can get there a little bit quicker than that. If I fly up through the atmosphere, hopefully... The um, friction will be less, and I can get there quicker. So let's just fly on up, put it over, engage hyperdrive or warp drive, whatever you want to call it. There we go. We're on our way. Best of Boss 99. Hi. Well, hi, Best of Boss 999. Okay, let's head on down. And Andrew Miller, you're quite welcome to aboard, chum. Thanks for joining us. And Jay Spawn. Yeah, before it gets patched. They do. They are quite quick on patching these things now, chums. Look at this. The base's roofs aren't even rendered. There's all sorts that's not rendered. Okay. I mean, the landing pad hadn't even rendered. The walkway that he's walking on hasn't even freaking rendered. Guys, this is not good for PlayStation base. I am not on the Pro, I am just on the normal PlayStation, and I'm having serious problems with things rendering in. In fact, they actually said that they've improved things rendering in, but that's obviously not the case for me, because look at this guy. What are you doing? Just... Yeah, whatever. And um, that's a bit weird. And this would have been Hazuki Dojo's S-Class cabinet. It is an S. It is an S. Awesome. So if I go and save and reload, hopefully it's going to be an alien multi-tool. Let's give that a go. B 
this this is horrible the the uh, pop at the moment chums I, I'm kind of a little bit gutted there right so let's reload that I was saying earlier in my stream it's nice to get little Apaches because there's less chance of having a lot lots of things that they need to fix the only thing is now that this is across multiple platforms you've got to think they've got to test it on every platform is it stable on PC is it stable on Xbox is it stable on the Vive is it stable on HTC is it stable on PlayStation it's it's not as easy as it once was for these guys and that's probably why they're going and recruiting an extra nine people which they probably haven't got in their office right now people don't magically materialize um, yeah, so they've got to interview these people, vet them, get them in, get them trained, get them sorted before we're going to start seeing perhaps reduced bugs in iterations and updates. So just give them a bit of a breather. And if you are coming across things, report it on the Zen desk. Um, but yeah, I know that I'm complaining a little, but at the same time, I will be putting this video across to the Zen desk and saying these are some of the things that I've encountered. Okay, so in I go. This all rendered now. That's a bit better. Yep, even that one's got its roof now. Great. Awesome. It could just be that there was a storm going at the same time. But yeah, let's have a look what we've got now. There we go. Experimental multi-tool. S-class. Full slottage. Kaboom. Awesome. So one of his codes actually does work. So it was just the one in the station. The alien one that was slightly knackered. Let's get this. I don't I want to buy it I have not, I don't have enough units oh come on I'm two two million units short <laughs> after all of that chums after all of that okay right well at least we know that one's there I can come back for that when I'm rich enough let's see if I can I don't think I'm gonna be able to raise two million units from selling a load of stuff but we can give it a go let's just sell everything I'm probably going to need this in a future episode, but let's just see if I can get two million units. That was my... I just sold my launch thruster fuel. Ah, uh, darn. Well, let's just keep selling stuff. Let's see what happens. I don't, I'm not going to sell my ammo or the signal booster. Let's keep going. There we go. I think I've almost got enough. I think I have enough now. Let's um, go with that. <laughs> I went and sold all my... Oh, my days. Uh, you can print cash. Don't sell everything. Yeah, I, I'm just doing it for speed. I've got like, what, three minutes left that I want to stream for. There we go. I can buy it now. All I want to do is test out the mechanics of swapping multi-tools. <laughs> I just want to check that out. All right, so there we go. I've got this multi-tool in hand right now, which is that one. So if I then go into here, let's go and have a look and see where it is. There's, there's multi-tools. Change to secondary weapon. No, that's not what I want. I want this one. And I can swap to this one. Fantastic! There we go. Awesome. We got a monitor. What's my ship doing? Why is that flashing for? Why is that flashing? Is it because of I can actually install something now? I What the f Why is it flashing for? It's purchased. I Right, I'm going to try moving something onto that slot. Are you a real slot? And now why is that one flashing? Ah! Okay, alright. I think things are slightly broken, but I'm going to save my iteration Why I've got two multi-tools. And we'll try and work that out another day. Alright. Find a nearby cave and refine a bunch of coal bite. I could have done, but I haven't got too much time. I'm going to be ending off now, chums, because I want to keep this under the hour for people that like to work and lurk. But anyway, guys, um, thank you very much. Oh, I have actually put the personal refiner in my exosuit. I know, uh, I know I was just about to end, but there you go. There's the personal refiner there. I have got a video up already on how I got that, how I installed it, and how it works. So, yeah. Uh, I put a link to that at the end of this video. All right, guys. So here we go. There we go. Let's uh, end off. So here we are. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you for joining. Uh, 30. 30 watches is probably my highest of all time. So thank you for making that happen. Right. So I'm just going to end off this broadcast. And I will be putting a link here to subscribe to my channel. If you're first onto my channel. This is the first time you visited Captain Steve. And you like what you've seen. Please hit subscribe. It means a heck of a lot to me right now. I'm trying to get to the thousand subscribers. And it's an uphill freaking climb. And see you later. Bye bye.